Uh, hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how method Rachel's reminders works. This is very similar to using your personal note and the case with Aura to set up reminders during a boss fight, but it's way more intuitive to set up and doesn't require you to swap notes for each boss. Uh, this is a little bit of an update from my previous video where I show how I go about making my personal note during a boss fight. Uh, since I uploaded that video I learned how to use the MRT reminders and I prefer to use those now by a lot. So. Obviously, you need the Methods Radial Saturn. Unlike with Notes, you don't actually need any other Wicara for it to work, you just, just need the Atom. So, we will go to the Reminders tab and then to Personal. Here you can see some reminders that I have already set up for me, uh, but we're gonna make a new one from scratch. If you have made a Wicara before, the process is actually very similar. We just set up how you want it to display and then you configure when do you want it to trigger. So, we will click on Add down below and then we'll fill out the settings. I'm only gonna use simple normal text reminders as that's the most basic one. Uh, use a name that describes what the reminder is for so you can identify it easily. In this case I'm gonna use Stasis Timings. In the message you will just put whatever you want the reminder to tell you. You can use write some text or you can use the same syntax that with the notes and add spell icons to the to the reminder. Uh, mouse over in the question mark will show you a syntax guide to make more complex text if that's what you want. Then we will add a duration for it. Basically the duration will be how much time before we want to be warned about the reminder. On sound and sound after ending I will select text to speech. I will check on countdown and pick a voice for the countdown. With this, our display is ready, and we just need to add the triggers. On the triggers tab, the easiest one we can add and the most common are time triggers after the boss is pulled. If we want the reminder to trigger 15 seconds in and then again 2 minutes into the fight, we add the triggers like this. Make sure the triggers are set to OR and not to AND. This way the reminder will trigger on any of the options we add. Because my display lasts 10 seconds and I wanted to do a countdown towards the 15th second of the fight, I'm making it trigger at the 5th second. That way it will show 5 seconds into the fight and count down 10 seconds from there, ending at 15 seconds, which is when I want the reminder to end. I'm same thing for the other one. I put it 10 seconds before the time I wanted to trigger because that's how long it lasts. Then we will go to the players slash load tab and here we're gonna check our own name to make the reminder trigger only for ourselves and then on the top part we can set it up to only trigger on a specific boss on difficulty. This way we can set up reminders for each mythic boss and we won't have to worry about changing notes after each kill. Once we're done we can click on save and our reminder is ready. It shows below the appropriate boss header in the list and we can also test them by opening them again and going to the test tab. You will get a button for each of the triggers you want to activate. And for this test, I'm clicking on the first trigger, which will make it proc after 5 seconds and count down 10 more seconds. This way, you can make one reminder for each relevant ability you need during a fight, say one for time dilation and one for stasis, and then add all the timings as different triggers so they will automatically load at those specific times on the specific bosses you set them up, without having to edit anything afterwards. Having good reminders is key to having good performance in rate, so learning how to set them up yourself is a very important thing to get better. Hopefully it was useful to you, and I'll see you all later.